What if you could play open guard seated the way Gordon Ryan does without having to research everything on your own and possibly miss key details? In this video, I'm going to show you a basic system that Gordon Ryan uses to make his opponents scared to engage his guard. So stick around till the end of the video so you don't miss anything. All right, before we get started, let me just explain the text on the screen. So the top text is going to be what our opponent does. The bottom text is going to be our response to what our opponent does. Whenever our opponent is square, we could choose to use any stance we want. So we could be square, we can be on our right hip, or we can choose to be on our left hip. Let's talk about details for the dummy sweep because you'll be using it a lot. Whenever we go in for the dummy sweep, we want to be more on one hip. So if you look at me right now, my left leg is up, my right leg is down, which means I'm on my right hip. After we hook our opponent's ankles, we have to have one action leg, and then our other leg has to be applying pressure to our opponent's ankle. Our action leg is sweeping as close to the floor as possible. We don't want to lift our leg because then we won't be at the end of the lever anymore. One good option whenever we can't get any grips is a dummy sweep with a head post. On an opponent who's scared to grip fight with you, usually what's going to happen when you reach out your head post they're going to back up to make some distance. As they back up, you're putting their hand in their face so it's impairing their vision for a second. That gives you time to hop in with your feet and hit your dummy sweep. Next is a dummy sweep with a two-on-one grip. This time when our opponent goes to pull away from our two-on-one grip, we're going to jump our feet in and hit the dummy sweep from there. For this one, we use the tension on our opponent's arm when they're pulling back since we don't have our hand posted. Also, a side note, we could use any variation of two-on-one to do this. In this live example, I use an arm drag grip. This next one is a basic single leg X entrance. First, we're going to place grips behind our opponent's knees. Then we're going to slide in, making sure we keep one knee to our chest so they're not able to just drop into mount. Then after we slide in, we're just going to shoot up into single leg X. This is what can happen if you do it wrong and you reach both your legs out and you don't keep one knee to your chest. Now we're getting in a staggered. So if our opponent has their right leg forward, we have to have our right leg forward and our right hip down. If our opponent has their left leg forward, we have to have our left leg forward and our left hip down. Now that our stance is correct, we can use our front leg to monitor our opponent's front leg. If we can get to our partner's rear arm, we could use a two-on-one elbow grip to pull on the elbow and push on the wrist to get their rear leg to come forward, which will turn them into a squared stance. Then we can hit the dummy sweep from there, pushing on their knees this time. The next one, we're going to use shin on shin. We can either use shin on shin whenever we want, or we can use it to defend our partner's inside step so they don't get the inside position on us. Whenever they try to step in on us, we're going to retract our leg so we can get shin to shin. Then we're going to use our hand and grab behind their leg. Then we're going to bring their back leg to us by posting our hand and pulling on their leg with the hand that's on their leg. And your shin that's on their shin, make sure it's kicking out, keeping tension on their leg. Doing this is going to bring their back leg forward. Once their back leg is forward, we're just going to go back into the normal single leg X entrance. This time we're going to use shin on shin to enter the near leg. So we're going to do the same beginning steps as before. But this time we're going to fall down to our shoulder, keeping tension on the shin on shin. Then as we get underneath them, we're going to kick our leg through and enter into single leg X. One side note, I like to frame the far leg with my free arm so they don't drop into mount on me. Now we're going to talk about monitoring the front leg. Two ways that I like to monitor the front leg. One, I'll jam their foot when they try to step forward. Two, I'll hook behind their ankle, so when they try to step back or lift their leg, I'll pull it out, bringing it to my hands, and then wrestling up off of it. Now, I know that was a lot of information in a short amount of time, but I don't like to waste your guys' time. So in order to drill this, I would go back and see each piece and do it separately instead of trying to drill the whole video at once. Now, the next question you should be asking is, what happens if I'm harassing their feet so much they're getting irritated and they don't even want to stand anymore so they decide to go to their knees? Well lucky for you I have a butterfly video out also. So when the outro plays make sure to click on that video and watch it so you know what to do in both cases. Thanks for watching guys. I know that took a long time to come out but it also took a long time to make a lot of editing and a lot of research. So make sure to show some support. Give me a like. 
subscribe if you liked it, and then comment if you have any questions.